A common question I'm asked is, are there any specific method or study books that teach musicality? Now, that's a really interesting question, actually. And, you know, I think of my days starting percussion and we had very, very few study books. In fact, I can't even remember studying from an actual method book or anything like that. And what we did was that we were always dealing with musicality. So even if we sort of dissected something rhythmic, just a straightforward rhythm like bum, 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 bum. There would always be a beginning, a middle and an end. There'd always be some sort of shape there. But we had an image in our minds. So, for example, we could think of that bum, 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 plodding up a hill. Plum, 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 plum. You can just feel the heaviness of the beats there. Or it could be that actually I'm scampering up that hill. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Or I'm tumbling down the hill. Bum, 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 bum. So you're dealing with lots of different senses of touch there, with dynamics, with tempos, with feel, and feel means emotion. So what might look really sort of straightforward on a page or very angular or not terribly interesting or inspiring, then that inspiration has to come from your own imagination. So really start experimenting, getting some images in your mind and creating that sound story.